of them. And Pastor Kim Burrell, I've been told. Amen. We'll come and bless us. After that, we'll go to Nadine. And while, while Nadine is talking, I want you to get a real good, you know, like about five or six hundred dollars in your hand. Amen. Come and bless us, sister. God bless you. Praise the Lord. I, uh, I'm going to just step over here. I just want to say praise be unto God who is the giver of life and who is so awesome. He's a faithful God and um, I'm proud to be here tonight. Um, Minister Willie Thornton afforded me and my sisters and brothers so many great opportunities to uh, share. When I was little, uh, the, I'll call them the original Sanctuary Choir because it was just that long ago. I couldn't wait to watch them. I couldn't wait to hear them. They had so much class and, and uh, they had a way of delivering music that I hadn't heard before except for my own local church choir. And uh, one thing that was good about our local church, the Great Emmanuel Church of God in Christ, we always knew that we would get a chance to hear Uncle Willie. Right. And so that's who I love. He is debonair and suave and classy. And you knew if you hugged him, you was going to smell one of the greatest aromas ever. And uh, so I couldn't wait. He was one of the first people in gospel that I heard come to a church and use the word staccato. He didn't play with that. He wanted you to understand right. what you were singing. He meant it. And so I applaud him tonight, and he is legendary, and I, and I just thank God for him so much. Uh, I don't know how much more musical inspiration you need after Dr. Betty Ransom Nelson. I, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, I love and respect so much. He's a sing anyway. Huh? Um, all right. I, I will. Uh, let me hear um, A flat. I'm not... Mm -hmm. All right, see Shaw. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I know I should, shouldn't I? Say, so just saying, I know it's just not that simple for everybody. Some people just belt it out. I got to find my right key. Can I find my right key? Some of y'all just get up and can do it. I do it how I do it. Can I do it how I do it? All right, good. Now, now I try E flat, because I can't do it in that C sharp. All right, thank you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because Jesus lives, all of my fears, my fears they are gone. Because I know, I know, I know who holds my future. My life is worth living just because he lives. I was a little girl, they let me sing. God sent his son, and they called him Jesus. He came to save. Not only that, he came to heal and forgive. How many of you know he bled and he died? And he did it just to buy my pardon. If you take a real good look, there's an empty grave. And it's there, all there, there, there to prove that my Savior, my Savior lives. And because he lives, Uncle Willie, wherever he is right now, he can face tomorrow. It's because Jesus lives. Oh, all of my fears, they are gone, are gone, are gone. It's because I 
know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. There's no doubt in my mind. I know who holds my future. posted this there was a lot of different comments um number one about the pastor or the person asking for 500 dollars from everybody i don't know why that struck a chord with a lot of the people that left comments but a lot of people was going in talking about how you gonna ask 500 dollars in a small church i don't think it was serious but you know nonetheless if y'all want to leave comments about that go ahead but kim burrell this was uh before Will willie thornton's death so this was a musical that was for him to watch while he was in the hospital. So as I've said before about her, when it's an appreciation of some sort, she's always very articulate in how she says what she says. But I think in Houston, it's mainly because of the relationship that, that she has with the different people. She's able to articulate uh, personally. And uh, and I'm sure she knows everybody where we're now. She even knows me by my name. And I was like, I didn't even know she knew me by my name back when she read me. But as time progressed, she hasn't read me since. But nonetheless, um, I love her mind. I've said it before and, I, and I'm saying it again, I love her mind. But she's always comical. And that's if you take it seriously or not. But this, you can tell she was having uh, vocal issues and she made a joke about some people belt it, but I'm gonna find my right key. Can I find my right key? I appreciate that because you know some folk will make you and you sound a mess i think uh, we got a thing of vicky winans and some other people that's coarse and they they try to push themselves and made themselves sound worse she was like um take me take me down take me down take me down <laughs> and so she found her key and she stayed there and you can tell only by one part when she halfway messed up she took a half step but other than that it's seamless i'm like how can you be hoarse still run, still modulate, still take half steps, and you don't sound a mess. The voice. Now, I've had to come in my comments, I've said before, and defend her voice, which doesn't need to be defended. But a lot of people are like, oh, she, I ain't never heard it. She can't, she can't sing to me. Okay, it's your opinion. I respect everybody's opinion. Um, so that's your right. But I think I think she did exceptionally. And I love her voice. Except what you want to about her, that voice is something. And this medley, to me, I think is a Kojic medley because that's what we used to say back when I was growing up, the he lives. Powerful to me, the words, because it brings back memories of certain things and the words mean something. So a lot of people sing a lot of words. They have a, a song about he, uh, God, it's gonna be big. What God's doing for you is going to be big. It's going to be touching neighbor and say it's going to be big. And I'm just like, okay, that's great. But because he lives, I can face too much. The words are different. One is, is good, but one has depth. So, yeah, and the way she sang it was perfect. Um, there's other parts from that evening. Betty Nelson sang. Um, there's a mic toss. So... If I haven't already put them up, if I have put Betty Nelson up, I'm gonna leave this, the, the little clip here. And if I put up the mic toss, I'm gonna leave that here. If I haven't, those, if you're interested, there's a mic toss between a local artist, Gail Stewart. She passed the mic to um, Kathy Taylor, and then she passed the mic to Kim Burrell. Kim Burrell's still hoarse, but she did, you know, jump in just a little bit. But it was, it was a good little mic toss. And of course, Betty Nelson, she does what she does. So y'all let me know if y'all interested, if I haven't already put it up. And uh, 
yeah so leave comments as you feel and like it helps my channel hit that bell so you can get notified whenever i do post subscribe if you haven't share if you want to but comment so i can have interaction with you all right y'all be good and uh, god bless you we'll be back with something real soon